The robotics officer here in Mission Control confirming to Flight Director Scott Stover that the back away motion, ha motion has begun to uh, back Dragon away from the International Space Station. It takes about six minutes to do this. And uh, Dragon being slowly removed from the International Space Station now. Official unberthing time is 3.10 a.m. Central Time. 4.10 a.m. Eastern Time. So Dragon is uh, slowly backing away from the International Space Station, basically the reverse of what we saw back on uh, 23 days ago whenever Dragon arrived up, the, up at the International Space Station. This vehicle launched back on March 1st and arrived at the orbiting complex on March 3rd. Okay, uh, go ahead, uh, is this uh, guess information for myself? Yes. Uh, and now it is uh, being removed from its home for the last uh, three weeks or so. It's a job with the International Space Station now complete. Okay, we confirmed that we're switching to it, and you can start working with RS2. Okay, copy, talk to you later. Good luck. Tom Marshburn now has his hand on the uh, trigger that will release Dragon coming up in a few seconds. The robotics officer is confirming that the snares inside the robotic arm are being opened up. This will begin the process of releasing Dragon from the grasp. And Dragon has been released at 5.56 a.m. Central Time, 6.56 a.m. Eastern Time. The arm now being backed away uh, from the vehicle. But again, an on-time release of the Dragon spacecraft at 5.56 a.m. Central Time. These two vehicles are flying 252 miles above the surface of the Earth, just to the south of Australia, about to make a pass over the Pacific Ocean. station we show the pin and clear and uh, Tom start to move the arm back copy and concur
Dragon is now 1.5 meters away from the International Space Station's robotic arm. Coming up on the first departure burn. burn has been conducted. There goes Dragon away from the arm. This is the first of the three departure burns that will be conducted. They will happen in rapid succession, taking Dragon away from the vicinity of the International Space Station, but uh, Dragon now opening up the distance. The uh, team at SpaceX reporting that the burn was conducted as expected. Everything on uh, Dragon on board is uh, looking good. The uh, Dragon depart was commanded and the P timer was started and uh, Go to re-enable thrusters. Copy and concur, and departure burn one is complete. Departure burn two is going to be starting shortly in about a minute. Roger looks uh, both beautiful and nominal from here. Good word. Thank you. This is a live view from Dragon looking up at the International Space Station. You see both the Kibo Laboratory and the Columbus Laboratory, as well as the Harmony Node, which used to be the uh, former home of Dragon for these past 23 days. There at the bottom is the pressurized mating adapter number two. That used to be home, the uh, home of the space shuttles back whenever they visited the International Space Station. Uh, but Dragon continuing to open up the distance between itself and the orbiting complex. We are standing by for the uh, second of the three departure burns coming up here shortly. Departure burn number two has begun, and it has finished up. There will be a yaw maneuver coming up next, where the spacecraft will spin itself around 180 degrees. Station Houston on space to ground two for robotics, no response required. Departure burn two is complete, and departure burn three will be in approximately seven and a half minutes. Looks good. As these two spacecrafts fly together in the darkness, a little bit hard to see the Dragon spacecraft, but you can definitely see the strobe light there blinking, uh, giving an indication of how fast this vehicle is starting to open up the distance between itself and the space station there on the left-hand side is the station's arm. The uh, team here in Houston getting the uh, space station back into the proper configuration with its uh, handling and steering capabilities. But this third and final departure burn should be taking place at about 6.08 a.m. Central Time, about six minutes from now. The uh, SpaceX mission director reporting to Flight Director Scott Stover here inside Mission Control that uh, both 